All right, you guys, and welcome to day two of our strength program. So day two is gonna be focusing on more lower body movements, lower body strengthening movements. So we are working with um, a couple of supersets. Um, we're gonna go for four rounds, 30 seconds on everything. Um, if you need a rest, just try to keep it under a minute or so. All right, so the first supersets that we're gonna be doing is a squat hold. So you're gonna take a stance slightly wider than shoulder width, drop down, hips back, abs strong, keep your back nice and straight. Cool, you're gonna brace your core, try to find tension in your glutes, in your hamstrings, in your quads. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. If you have a weight that you would like to use, you can hold it um, right here against yourself closer to your midline, okay? Anthony's gonna come up and right away, you're gonna go into some squat jumps. Ready, set, let's go. Nice, nice and light. Uh, make sure that you start in a squat and land in a squat each time. Knees nice and soft, explosively jumping up. Let's pretend that was 30 seconds and then you're gonna rest for a little bit. And then you'd start again for four sets, cool? Next, you guys, we have our uh, foot elevated glute bridge. So you're gonna need um, some sort of surface to place your feet on. Um, you're gonna start on your back, knees bent, um, abs brace. You're gonna lift your hips up, engaging your glutes, feeling your hamstrings working, and then come back down. Make sure that you're lifting from your hips and not lifting from your back. Really important, you guys. Um, Another thing you want to make sure is that whatever surface that is elevated that you're using is against a wall or doesn't move like that. <laughs> but just so you guys can kind of understand the exercise, this is how we would ideally want it set up with something, of course, behind it. So you're going to go 30 seconds of work. And then after that, right away, going into your alternating curtsy lunges. So you're gonna cross behind, making sure that the majority of your weight is still on your front leg. The back foot, you're stepping on the ball of your foot. So make sure that your ankle isn't winging out. But um, again, you're not putting much weight on the back foot. The emphasis is on the front leg. It's gonna rotate slightly. So you do get a bit of a stretch in the glute, but also you are placing tension um, on there as well. So you're loading that uh, side of your body eccentrically. So 30 seconds, then you're gonna rest under a minute. Um, and then again, four rounds, give it a try. All right, and the last superset that we have here is just a split squat. So we're gonna do one side, left leg, 30 seconds, and then right away, um, opposite side for 30 seconds. So Anthony's gonna set up in a split stance position, one leg forward, one leg back. Front foot is flat, back foot, you're pressing into the ball of your foot. He's gonna lower down so the back knee floats just a few inches and then he's gonna come up. So it's really important, you guys, you don't want your knee to quite touch the floor because you still want more tension. Um, and again, you're placing majority of your weight on your front leg. If your knee comes forward, your front knee, that's totally fine. As long as your heel stays down, you should be okay. Um, it's okay to place a little bit of tension on your quads. We want to build those muscles, strengthen those muscles um, if we can. Good. So after you have 30 seconds on both sides, you're gonna rest under a minute, um, and then you'll go again for another three rounds for a total of four sets. Cool. cool. And the last and final portion of our program uh, for day two is our conditioning portion. So here we're working on lower body conditioning, more specifically the glutes and hamstrings. We're going to get into a hip thrust position. So your back, your upper back is going to be on an elevated surface feet. I would like them to start slightly wider than hip width. So what you're going to do is Anthony's going to brace his core, lower the hips down, come up, squeeze your glutes. Again, pushing up from the hips like you would at the top of a squat 
and not the rib cage, right? So you're gonna go up and down for 20 seconds. Right after that, you're going to place a band around the top of your knees, okay? If you don't have a band, you can use your imagination and pretend that there's resistance pushing out, or um, you could use, you know, get creative. Like I mentioned before, if you have like a bathing suit um, that's stretchy, you could use it around, or if you have, you know, a TheraBand that you could tie a loop around, you could use that too. So you're going to push your knees out and in, out and in while your hips are up in that fully extended position, out and in. This is gonna really um, force your abductors to work hard and maintain that position. After you have 20 seconds there, you're gonna lower down, lower your hips down, and then you're gonna go from there, pushing out and in, out and in. Even lower. That's it. You want your glutes to be maybe about like four inches or less above the ground on that last part. So 20 seconds on everything, two rounds, and then rest. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and try it out. Hopefully you feel that burn back there. 